I tried to ask him for anything. There was even a time I asked him to help me when I had rent issues. He just ghosted me. And then later, after a while that he knew that everything was already calm and I didn't need the help anymore, he came back and started texting me again. So it happened that like two like two weeks, I stayed in my friend's hostel for like two weeks because we were having exams. So during that time, he still used to text me. So like he even called me one day like that and he said he wanted to see me. So I talked about the man with my friend and I told her that like I, have, like, I don't want to have like any sexual relations with him at all, at all, at all. But at that time, I was also in need of some money for some personal stuff that I wanted to sort. So that was already the idea of like, stealing cash from him like maybe from his car because mostly people use you sleep like after so in case so that we'll be able to leave so my friend put it in her hand and when she tried to pour it into his mouth he turned his face away and he did enter his mouth he said he didn't need it to lighten up his mood so i think at that time she was now getting impatient because it was raining before and as the rain stopped, everywhere became quiet and like we were running out of time. So that was when she took the phone and she was placing it in front of his face. I was even surprised because before she even picked up the phone with everything that was going on, it was not suspicious. It did not, like it was just like willingly doing everything. So I was also like surprised that how come he did not even like think about anything like he allowed us to tie his hand and his leg so easily like that. So when my friend put the phone in his face, he thought we wanted to video him. So it was not like we should not video him, we should not video him. That was when he now pushed me off the bed.